What's up everybody, it's the Minute Admin here and I'm back with the question of the day here. So this is the question for today. Is it possible to go straight into Salesforce Consulting or is it necessary to do Salesforce Admin first? This is a question I got on a recent video or actually an older video that I put up on my YouTube channel and I got it just the other day so I wanna answer this question for you. So let's go ahead and look at some stuff on the internet and let me explain to you why it would probably be best if you go into being a Salesforce admin first before you talk about being a Salesforce consultant but we'll talk about the pros and cons and different things like that. So let's talk about that. So first and foremost, the question was, should you or could you go to be a Salesforce consultant before you're a Salesforce admin? So let me explain to you why you want to be an admin first. So you want to understand what it takes to be an administrator. So if we look down here on the Trailhead website and we're going down to, uh, if we're looking at like the exam for a Salesforce administrator, let's look at some of the things you're going to have to know as an admin. So if you're brand new to the Salesforce world and you are still trying to figure out how the Salesforce world works, then you really need to understand the basics, the core fundamentals. That's like saying, should I go to the NFL whenever I haven't played in high school before? Or should I go to the NBA when I haven't played in high school or college basketball before? So you really have to get your foundation set before you go and become a consultant. So this is why it's important to become an administrator before you become an, a, a consultant. Um, let me explain to you. So if we look at the exam outline here, if we look at the exam outline for a Salesforce certified administrator and we come down here and we look at, let's just say the first section right here, configuration and setup, which is 20% of the Salesforce admin exam. So let's just look at a couple of things here. You've got to be able to describe the information found in company settings. So something like fiscal year, business hours, currency management, default settings. You're going to need to be able to understand and talk about if you want to pass this section of the Salesforce admin exam. And the same goes with every other bullet point underneath this specific section on the Salesforce admin exam. And then you've got to be able to do that with every bullet point underneath here. Now, my question to you, if you're asking that question of, should I be a Salesforce consultant before I'm a Salesforce admin? If you understand everything underneath this area here for the Salesforce admin, Salesforce certified administrator certification, if you understand every single thing under the exam outline and you can talk to me about it, or you could talk to your best friend about it, or you could better yet talk to somebody who is paying you for it, then you'll have, you should, you should feel that confidence that you could go be a consultant. But if you can't even talk to, you know, um, like your best friend about Salesforce and explain to them what Salesforce is, or, you know, explain to, um, a colleague what Salesforce is and what it offers, then you probably should stick to the side of continuing to learn to be an admin. Now, the person who asked this question on the channel, I have no idea whether or not they know this much information about Salesforce. All I'm saying is you should have a level of knowledge that allows you to explain Salesforce, what it does, and all of these little details underneath um, at least the admin section of uh, the Salesforce administrator certification. So everything underneath configuration and setup, object manager and lightning app builder, all the way down to workflow and process automation, you should be able to explain in painstaking detail every single thing underneath one of these bullet points if you want to start talking about becoming becoming a consultant. You should at least, this is like the very least you should have down packed. Because when you're on client site, you're going to be asked at least all of these questions and a client's going to come to you as the expert. Now, with that being said, let's go and just look at the definition of a consultant. So a consultant is a person who provides expert advice professionally. They're an advisor, a guide, counselor, expert, specialist, authority, a pundit. Now, Think about the definition of a consultant. You're saying you're a Salesforce consultant and you're wanting to be a Salesforce consultant before being an admin. Now, 
the reason I made this video is because a lot of people want to jump into, um, you know, being a Salesforce consultant. Like I said, that's like jumping into the NFL or the NBA before you ever played basketball or football before. Are you an expert? Are you, could you, do you know Salesforce enough to be someone's guide? Do you know Salesforce enough to be considered an expert when you walk into the room? If somebody asks you 10 questions about how to set up their Salesforce org, would you be able to answer those questions? Would you be able to, or would you be able to say, Hey, I don't know the exact answer to that, but you know, based on what I do know, here's X, Y, and Z, and I'll get back to you with the specific answer on what you're asking. Now that's all I really honestly have to say about that. Like if you feel like you're at that level of your Salesforce knowledge, then jump right in and become a Salesforce consultant. But if you are still learning the platform and you still want to learn how Salesforce works, I would recommend that you, you know, you go to trailhead.salesforce.com and you go to this learn tab right here and you go to these trails and these trail mixes like uh, on the last page here under Salesforce administrator. If you're studying for the exam, you have all these different trail mixes. You have a trail mix for preparing for your Salesforce admin credential. You have a trail for study for the admin certification exam. And you can take this interactive practice test to test your knowledge for um, whether or not you know uh, what it takes to be a Salesforce administrator. So really, that's all I'm going to put. I'm not going to go too much further into detail. The only thing I will say is this. Do you know enough to be considered an expert in the Salesforce space? That's it. That's the only thing that I will say. If you consider yourself as an expert and you could literally answer almost any question that comes up and you could know how to direct people whenever questions come up that you don't know the answer to, then you probably could just jump into being a Salesforce consultant. But if you still need to learn the platform, then I would say you should jump in and be a Salesforce administrator. Take the process of learning the platform and you know, just there's a natural learning curve to everything. Like you're not just going to jump in and become um, the president of the United States. You're going to have to go through years of trial and error in your career. You're going to have to go through years of trial and error in uh, the political sphere, whatever it is, you're never just going to jump in at the top because that's just not how life works. Um, Unless you were born with, you know, tons of money and your parents can put you there. But Everybody else, you know, you got to work, you got to put your, you got to put your time in and you've got to learn the craft and you know, you just have to, you have to bide your time and learn the process of what it takes to really be successful as a Salesforce administrator before you can go in and become a Salesforce consultant. So that's really all I have for you. Hopefully that answers the question of, can I become a Salesforce consultant before being a Salesforce admin? The answer is technically yes, you can, but you would want to know uh, that you would want to know the platform. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about you know whether or not someone would hire you, even if you don't have Salesforce consultant skills, because that's just whether or not you're great in interviews and you can make people believe you and uh, make them believe that you know what you're talking about. That could be whether or not you're great uh, great at talking about your knowledge or whether or not you actually know your knowledge. Um, so I'm not going to go into that unless you want a video on that. But in all honesty, I would say become a Salesforce admin before you become a Salesforce consultant and learn what it takes because the consulting world, uh, I've done it and it is a very stressful world. You've got multiple clients um, and you also have uh, tons of questions from those multiple clients and you've got to juggle them, be great at time management um, and do you know all these different things. I'm not saying that it's not rewarding. It just is very challenging, very difficult at the same time, um, but very worth it and you get a lot of perks to it. But uh, other than that, you know, you just have to come in prepared and you've got to come in with a level of professionalism that uh, a consultant is expected of. So that's really it. That's all I've got for you. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you also want to watch more questions of the day and uh, just check out what life is like as a Salesforce consultant, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in another video. Minute Admin out.